Hi, we are on Whistler right now. We are doing a kids castle zone hunt. I'm with Shade, he is over here. We took him out of school today. He's having leg surgery next week, which I'll get into on my red chair confessional. Uh, we're on Emerald right now, so I can't uh, talk too much about it. Not allowed, only on red chair. <laughs> but so we are on Whistler and we are on the hunt for all the kid zones on the mountain. So we're gonna go to the Enchanted Forest, we're gonna go to the Magic Castle on Whistler, and on Blackcomb we are going to the Fruity Forest and the Juicy Jump Line, I think it's called, and whatever else we can find. We'll take you along for the ride. We're heading up Emerald, we're gonna come down to Enchanted Forest. It is just up here around the corner. And then we'll head over to Shade's favorite, Red Chair. And go find the other one and we'll do a Red Chair confessional. Talk about Shady's leg and what's going on and why we pulled him out of school. We'll see you soon. stop on the Magical Castle tour is Enchanted Forest. Here on Emerald Chair, where are you, Shady? <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a quick rip through it and then back up Emerald and over to the Magic Castle on Red. See you then. So it's pretty wide open. Gets a little bumpy, but it's fun. It's kind of like a... A luge berm track, kids can race down it. <sighs> kind of meanders through the forest. Corner, it's really flat light right there. It's a little icy today, as you can hear. And here we are. And that was it. That was Enchanted Forest. It's short, fun for the kids to race through if you've got a few of them, or race with mom or dad, whatever. Uh, it's a little icy today, a little flat light in there, but uh, it's a good time. It's kind of flowy through the trees, berm corners, some bumps for the kids to play on, and then all the surrounding trees have lots of cool little luge tracks that the kids love ripping through as well. We'll head over to Red and hit the castle. That was the Enchanted Forest on Emerald Chair. Short and sweet, but super fun. If you've got kitties, hey Shady, do you like it in there? Yeah? If you've got kitties, it's a good zone. Um, the main trail itself is fun, open, flowy, cornered, uh, bank corners, little bumps and stuff, and then all the surrounding forest has been taken over by the little groms making little loose tracks and jumps and 
and corners and banks and everything all, all in that zone. So it's a good place, a little diversion if you're riding the Emerald Zone. We are going to head over to the Red Zone. We're going to go to the Fruity Forest by Orange Peel and down to the Magic Castle, which is kind of, if you know the bike park, Fruity Forest is Unamas Zone and the castle is like by Shale Master and, and uh, Blue Velvet. So we'll head over there and then we will do a red chair confessional. We'll see you then. Say bye, Shady. Forest, which is kind of the bike park at Unamas entrance. It is just down from the Chicopee, just on the left. It's a tiny little sign. So you kind of got to keep your eyes out, but we're going to take this down to the Magic Castle. Let's see how she goes. So this is like riding Unamas. Woo, lots of little bumps. Burns. Ah, there's the bridge. We'll see if Shady comes this way. Oh, it's a G out. Go. Oh, oh. <laughs> tree. <laughs> you okay? The fruity forest. It's kind of fun in here, eh? Fruity forest. It's just lots of bumps. You could double a lot of this stuff. You knew it was coming. They're all pretty tight little trannies, little kid trannies. We'll go check it out just to show you guys. We just came down the fruity forest. We'll give you our verdict on the chair. The fort. This this way. Look at that action. Pretty neat. Slides and all sorts of stuff. Do you remember it? They've got all the stairs and the entranceways blocked off and stuff, so you can't go in there. COVID strikes again. But it's a really neat little zone.
are on the red chair. We're heading up. We just did the fruity forest and the castle was closed, unfortunately, the tree fort. But I got some shots of it. Hopefully we'll show you. What did you think of that run down the fruity forest, Shay? Good. It was good. It was a little harder, hey? There was a lot more ups and downs. You had to carry your speed. Pretty bumpy. Lots of little whoops to manage while you're ripping through there, but definitely fun for the kiddos. For yep. sure. It's a little hard today. It's a little firm. But it was a good time, for sure. You struggled a little bit, but yep. yeah, on a board you got to carry your, your speed through there. No, and it was our first time through, so we didn't know. Uh, did you like it better than the Enchanted Forest? No. Nope. No, you like that one better? The I Fruity like the Forest? Enchanted Forest better. Oh, sorry. You like the. Okay, kids' verdict. We like the Enchanted Forest better. What if the Tree Fort was open? I'd like that. Yeah, yeah, if the tree fort was open, it'd be a bit of a different story. So Shade, we have pulled Shade out of school today to come up. One, because it's an amazing day and we like spending time with him. But two, he's got a leg surgery scheduled for next week. Um, this will be, he's had a few. So years back, Shady shattered his femur and it's been a bit of a recovery road since then. He's had a lot of hardware put in, some rods, some metal, some pins, and they keep having to be moved as he grows so that they don't affect his growth plate. So they're going in on Friday and they're pretty sure that they're going to pull it all out this time, but they'll decide when they get in there. So we're trying to get these, uh, these last few days up on the hill when we can. He hasn't had a chance to snowboard that much. Um, I mean, we li missed all of last year because we were out of country and then COVID hit and shut the mountain down. So he didn't go at all last year. Uh, he did go the year before a bit, not a ton, um, but he has had a few surgeries that have kind of really hampered his, his snowboarding. Even your biking too. It started late, had to skip seasons. So it's been tough for him, but he's getting there. So it's funny though, I have these two kids that wanted me to start a YouTube channel with them. So I did, and <laughs> neither one of them want to be on camera. I've got Shady now though. I'm on camera. You're on camera right now. But it's fun, it's amazing. Uh, I'm having a great time doing it. So hopefully this video actually pans out. We're gonna head over to the Peak to Peak now and take it over to Blackcomb and hit, there's some juicy jump line and another castle over there that we're gonna try and find. And I'll keep the talking to a minimum, this one. I, I hear everybody, I, I talked a little too much on the last video, I apologize, I'm learning. <laughs> it will hopefully get better and better. I'll, I'll cut it short because apparently I talk too much. Okay, ready? Okay. Say bye. bye. Bye everybody. We will see you on the Peak to Peak. here on Blackcomb, it's shady. And we are gonna go find the fun kid zones over here now. So there's a magic castle, kind of head down towards seventh, it's beside Cat Skinner chair. And then just above me here from Jersey Cream down to the peak to peak is Juicy Jumps that my buddy Paul told me about. So we'll try and find those as well. Peak to peak was amazing actually. I didn't know what to do, a time lapse or just film. So I did a little bit of both. It really is spectacular on a day like today. It's a pretty cool feat of engineering. Are <laughs> you eating snow? <laughs> We're getting a little hungry apparently. 
It's time for lunch. So that was the Adventure Park, just off of Cat Skinner. The Sea to Sky Railway Trail, I think it's called. Um, super fun, it's our favorite so far. We missed the castle. The castle's a right, we went left. Left is more of a, a run, kind of a shooty, luge super fun bermed run all the way down to the bottom of Cat Skinner. And there's a right that takes you to the castle. And again, because of COVID, the castle is closed, so you can't access it. The You can see it from the chair there. I actually shot a quick shot of it. I'll put it in the video. We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna go down the same run that we did, but it's our favorite run so far. Hey, Shady, yep. you like that one for the kitties? It's his fave so far. Really flowy, not so chopped up and bumpy. You can carry your speed and not worry about hitting up uphill drops <laughs> which for me are no fun on my knees but we will try it one more time and then we're gonna go find the juicy jumps see you soon So yeah, I think it was this way, right? Yeah. And that's the railway trail. This way's to the castle. Yeah, see? There's a hole. Castle. Lots of slides. Oh, look at this little zone. This is fun. Fun little zone. Got little patterns on the side.
Okay, so that was lap two That's at the Cat Skinner Castle, which is right here. So the castle itself is closed, but Shady and I, we both agree that they are the funnest runs to get to the castle. You kind of rip through all this undulating terrain, through the trees, you can kind of see the run down in there. And it's, uh, so far it's our favorite. We really enjoyed it. Hey Shady? Yep. Shady had a little tailbone smasher in that run. But he's recovered. Doing good. Even with the tailbone smasher, it's still the favorite. Boo COVID for everything being closed. Here's the sign for it. So there's a couple different ways you can take. There's the Sea to Sky Railway Trail, which has a bunch of cool artifacts and old mining things and railway memorabilia along it, which is super fun, but you miss the castle. And then if you take a right, right at the start, you can kind of hit the castle. But we're gonna head up, we're on Cat Skinner right now. We're heading up Cat Skinner. We're gonna go find the Juicy Jumps, I think Paul called them. And then head down and feed this child because I think he's getting hangry. You hangry? Yeah? And thirsty. And thirsty. I'm hangry. So we'll see you in a bit. Yeah. All right, we finished our kid zone tour. Verdict? The Sea to Sky. The Sea to Sky Rail Trail was the fave. That's the one by Cat Skinner on Blackcomb. It was really cool. The trail was fun to the castle. Castle closed, but it looked pretty cool. Bunch of slides, neat things the kids can do. And now we're down. And a day on the hill is not complete without what? Mountain Chocolate Factory. <laughs> yes, Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. That's kind of a tradition, not every day. Main, I think we do it more when we're in the bike park. But nonetheless, it is a tradition. So he's having a giant peanut butter cup. Okay, thanks for watching you guys. Give us a subscribe. Hey Shady, should they subscribe? They should subscribe, because we are gonna get better. We're slowly getting better. I'm not gonna talk as much in this one, although I'm talking a little too much right now. So Jim, here is your new video. I heard you were asking Sarah. Critique away. Talk soon. See you in the next one.